So if you've been following the free man movement in Canada, you might be aware of the Boydalee case in uh, Edmonton, uh, in which a guy has been charged with uh, paper terrorism. Now, this case is interesting to me uh, because uh, the guy that's been charged, Boydalee, has been commenting on my videos for a little bit over two years. Now, the specific statute being used here is uh, 423 of the Criminal Code of Canada, uh, which uh, reads uh, intimidation of a justice system participant. And the punishment is up to 14 years. Now, as most of the news articles that have talked about this case have mentioned, this is the first time that that section of the Criminal Code has been used uh, to deal with uh, free men on the land, paper terrorists. Now, what's interesting is that Boydelay, I started receiving comments from Boydelay two, about two years ago on my Dean Clifford videos. Uh, these were videos that I tried to uh, explain why Dean Clifford's theories were wrong. Uh, and by the way, let's keep in mind that Dean Clifford's still in jail. Uh, wh what a lot of people don't know is that Dean Clifford engaged in a lot of paper terrorism. He, he was filing liens against uh, buildings, judges, police officers, all that kind of stuff. But he was never charged with it. Uh, the, the big change in this uh, case is that now uh, Canada and, and prosecutors in Canada are going to start uh, charging uh, free men on the land for paper terrorism uh, for a lot of stuff that Dean Clifford and Robert Menard have been uh, promoting online uh, for years, uh, since so at least uh, 2001. Now, this makes one of the comments that Boyd Lee left uh, two days ago um, important uh, because in it he's criticizing uh, Justice Rook uh, who wrote the Meads v. v. Meads decision about four years and that was a decision that tried to explain to Freeman why their theories are wrong. It stated clearly that their theories would not be accepted in any court in Canada and that they need to stop what they're doing and, and that if they didn't they would be dealt with uh, harshly eventually. Um, now this was four years ago uh, Boydjali continued um, in his Freeman tactics and is now paying the price. And I guess this is tragic just on a national level and on a personal level uh, uh, because uh, uh, Rook did not have to take the time to write uh, uh, the hundred page decision that he did. He did not have to take the time to explain to Freeman why their theory is wrong or even issue a warning. Uh, warning people not to listen to people like Rob Bernard and other people, uh, and Dean Clifford, etc. Uh, but he did, and he did that for you know, uh, he, well, he for reasons that he explained in the decision that he didn't want to see people go to jail, uh, listening to these because they listened to Freeman gurus and losing their property or going to jail. Um, yeah, but despite that, uh, the free man movement uh, just criticized the judge and just gave, gave him shit. And now, four years later, because they did not heed the warnings of Rook, uh, the, the executive branch of uh, Canada, the, 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 the branch that is uh, tasked with enforcing the laws, has had to crack down by using this statute, 14 years in jail, for people who are engaging in paper terrorism. And, you know, uh, given that Boydelay has been watching my videos for two years, uh, this is a personal failure for me uh, because I have not been able to communicate to Boydelay that his theories are not going to work and that he's throwing his life away. I mean, there's stuff about this case that I can't talk about uh, because it invo involves children, but I, um, you know, it, it's sad that, you know, at, at this rate, he's never going to get his kids back because he's listening to people like Dean Clifford and Rob Menard. Now, on that point, I tried to uh, confront uh, Boydelay on the on the fact that he was using Dean Clifford's and Rob, ben Rob Menard's theories, and he actually had the balls to deny it. Uh, now, that is contradicted by the fact that he was viewing Dean Clifford videos on my channel, so, which means that he was watching other videos by Dean Clifford. And it's also contradicted by his own paperwork. Uh, uh, the guys at Quat Lose uh, obtained uh, Boydelee's uh, motion to squash, quash, 
In it, uh, Boyderly uses the same uh, Charter of Rights and Freedoms, Section 32 argument that Dean Clifford popularized in 2012. And what would, it was the topic of the first debu debunking Dean Clifford video I made. Uh, just to refresh people's memories, uh, this, this was a section of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which uh, Dean Clifford and other free men have reinterpreted to mean that private individuals are not subject to the laws of Canada. And I have made an, like three videos trying to explain why that's wrong. There's a whole bunch of case law in which judges have tried to explain to these, these guys why that interpretation of, of, of the charter is wrong. And this guy, this is his only defense that he's making to avoid 14 years in jail. So I guess I just don't know. Um, this week, uh, I found a guy in Minnesota who is looking at five, seven years in jail uh, after uh, refusing to take a breathalyzer on uh, Carl Lentz's advice. Uh, and, you know, that guy's in his mid-twenties. He's got a son. Now he's not going to be able to see his kid uh, for five years. And, you know, uh, you know, all the videos I've done about Carl Lentz uh, failed uh, to prevent this guy from listening to him and going to jail. So it, it's like it's like talking to aliens. It's like, it's like talking to a brick wall. Um, you know, my question to Alan, if he watches this video, is, you know, what, what do you need to understand uh, that your theories are wrong. You know, um, the, the current uh, incarnation of the Freeman movement started in 2001 uh, with Rob Bernard and Mary Elizabeth Croft. In 16, in seven, in 16 years, uh, the movement has never had a win in court. Uh, all you've had is people going to jail, going to jail, going to jail. Nobody in Canada has ever uh, beat the system using these arguments and, and and your entire philosophical basis is wrong it's not accepted by the courts i don't know what uh alan is th is thinking and I, I i don't understand why this basic common sense uh you know doesn't he doesn't understand this basic reasoning if something hasn't worked in 16 years it's never going to work you're just doing something that other people have tried and failed you know you know, while we're having this conversation comfortably in, in, in our homes on the internet, Dean Clifford is rotting in jail. There are other free men rotting in jail uh, after trying these arguments in court. You know, I don't know what these people are thinking. I mean, please explain what you need to, to understand that what you're doing is not going to work. You know, do you, do you want more case law? Do you want... Uh, more historical background, more more discussion of the philosophy and why it's wrong. Uh, more analogies. I don't know what you need. Please, how about you just tell me what you need? Let's try that instead. And just two final points. Maybe I should stop using the words uh, right or wrong and, and truth and false because uh, we're, we're not actually discussing what is true and what is not true. Uh, what we're arguing here is will these arguments be accepted in court will these work to keep you out of jail keep you from being arrested keep you from getting your car impounded that's all we're talking about here um whether they're true or not isn't really uh the point it, it's are you going to be able to avoid going to jail for seven or 14 years with these arguments yeah you know, and finally you know let, let's really appreciate the absurdity of the situation uh we, with alan in canada and rich in minnesota um you guys are actually testing these theories uh you're not just talking about it on the internet uh, you're risking your lives uh trying this stuff but the people who <laughs> uh invented these theories like ron menard they never tried these theories in real life they got paid they they walked away. Menard has not done anything Freeman related in years. But I mean, pro probably three or four years. He's off the grid. He he is not risking his neck testing this shit. You are testing this shit for him, for free. And and by and by the way, Menard made money off this shit. He got paid, and now you're going to jail. That that's a real irony of the situation. And, and with Rich in Minnesota. Uh, it's the same thing, you know, Carl is not trying these theories himself. 
Rich is testing his theories for him and losing his son, uh, going to jail for five, seven years. Uh, while Carl is off the grid, chilling out, getting paid. You know, uh, uh, this week I found another person who's been paying Carl for legal advice for, for an FDA case. Uh, which I got to make a video about. It's actually very interesting. They've been selling uh, illegal diet pills. Uh, that It's actually a pretty uh, big case because uh, the, uh, the penalty is 10 years in jail. Uh, and, and the incredible thing is, you know, I got to spend money getting these court documents. It costs me money to get these court documents and make these videos. Uh, that's money. That's money and food out of my mouth. Uh, that's money I could be spending on shit that I would actually enjoy. <laughs> and, and it's not working. It's, it, it's, it's just a complete fucking waste of time. You know, I, I had to read a 240-page, uh, uh, court case, uh, for a meth addict who's trying, <laughs> uh, a free, free man arguments. And, and by the way, and you gotta pay per page. So, for a 240-page... <laughs> A uh, document it, co it costs like twenty bucks, and got and, and it's just a complete fucking waste of time because it, it, even if you read two hundred forty pages of shit and try to explain why why it's fucking crazy and it's wrong, uh, people sh will still le listen to these people. And, you know the the gurus get paid. Me, me, meanwhile, you go to jail, and I, I I'm here getting fucked. Having to pay money for for to read their bullshit and keep track of, of all the people these people are sent putting in jail, it's it, it's such just such a horrible, fucked up situation.